Phew, they finally left. We had a brief pause after those guests left. I'm not very good at talking about my romantic affairs like that. After all, since I was young, the only thing I've done has been making Japanese sweets. I was exhausted from trying to figure out how to respond to them. I'm sure Master, I've finished closing out the register. Come check. Yeah, got it. Thanks. Why are you so angry about Vanilla? I'm not angry. If it looks that way, then Master should know why. I don't know why, so that's why I'm asking. Ah, are you hungry or something? If you are, you can have a slice of cake. Who do you think I am, Master? I'm not Chocola. And just why are you bringing up Chocola? She doesn't really get upset often. Aside from her desperately yelling, I'm hungry sometimes. If you must know, it's because of how you keep ogling the customers with those lecherous eyes of yours. Totally sleazy. Hey, that's a false accusation. Just when was I ogling them? I can't let my guard down while Chocolate is out on delivery. For you to think that sleeping with a cat girl once makes her all yours? I never thought Master would ever be such a horny p- Horny- <laughs> 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 I wish I could title the video with that, but I feel like that would definitely get flagged. Horny pastry puffer. Humph. Vanilla folded her arms and snorted. A horny pastry puffer, she says. There was an unpleasant sound to those words, you think? First off, you're acting so flirty even though us cat girls are here. I got it, I got it. I'm not flirting, so it's okay. Actually, I'm really not very good at stuff like that. I don't sense any sincerity in your closing statement. Thumbs down. It's just a misunderstanding. Don't be mad. I'm not angry. I'm an always cool and collected cat girl, just like Shiguri says. You not only ignored me, but you did this and that with Chocola, and you're just playing with her feelings. I just can't stand for this. Humph. Isn't humph an angry sound, though? It was a false accusation to say I was fooling around with Chocola. Hmm, once I put everything Vanilla is saying together, it sure seems like... You're jealous, huh? Sorry, I'll be more careful next time. I'm not jealous. Just expressing my honest opinion. I got it, I got it, I'm sorry. I'll act with more restraint. You make it sound like doing that would be a hassle. I got it, okay? There, there. Vanilla puffed out her cheeks like patted her on the head. Pat, pat, pat. Even Vanilla gets jealous then. I, su I thought she was more carefree than this, though. I guess it's to be expected, since despite being always together, Chocolate hasn't been paying much attention to her recently. I need to be more careful as their owner. Come to think of it... What? Are you in heat yet, Vanilla? Perfect. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm just concerned about your physical health, okay? Perfect. Let your horny... <laughs> Every time I see that, I want to laugh. Horny <laughs> Well, I guess you're doing fine then. I really was honestly worried though. Vanilla leveled a chilly glare at me while I was thinking that. <laughs> I'm not reading this. I'm not. I am not. Because it's weird. Hey, Chocola, mind watching the store for a bit? Okay, leave it to Chocola. Vanilla, I need your help in the kitchen. Hmm, me. Through the kitchen we go! Let's bake some cakes. I have a hunch I'm needed for something naughty. Just what kind of hunch is that? It seemed that she was still holding a grudge. It looked like she told Chocola something earlier too. In any case, I need to lighten things up. I thought I'd start, slow, start to slowly teach you how to make a cake. Oh, cake making. I'll finally level up as a cat girl. But why just me? Are you planning something lewd? Can you stop it with that nonsense? I am enjoying it. I regret nothing. As always, she was quite the actress. There wasn't really a reason for her to regret anything, though. Well, in all seriousness, I have no qualms with Chocolate being a poster cat girl. But I don't think making cakes would suit her. Ah, Chocola would probably just make things depending on her mood at the time. Understandable. 
Vanilla was the right cat girl for the job. It'd be great if she's interested, but it'll be fine even if she messes up. So, well, that's how it is. I'll start by teaching you how to make some simple dough, okay? It's happening. I'll let you teach me. I look forward to your lesson, Professor Master Sensei. Bow. It seems like she's more into it than I thought she'd be. That's gonna be a mouthful if you're gonna keep saying that every single time. Master, make it hard and pile it high with lots of butter, right? We don't have that kind of customization available. If we did it, it might catch on. Nice idea. We don't make them one at a time, so it wouldn't work out. Enough about customizations. First, the basics. Okay, I'll try to do my best. While she gave a half-hearted response, she measured out the ingredients very carefully according to the recipe. She was quick to learn the names of the kitchen tools and how to use them, and remembered what I taught her without uttering a single complaint. You really take on things quickly, Vanilla. Honestly, you're a lot more skilled with your paws than I thought. Skillful cat girls are lazy bones, you know, Professor Master Sensei. She puffed out her non-existent chest proudly. The chest on that uniform might be too high a level for Vanilla. <laughs> well, she picked it out herself, so I guess she didn't mind too much. Maybe she was trying to show off her slightly lacking chest. Wow, shots fired there, you're calling out Vanilla? Like, leave her alone, dude. That trivial thought crossed my mind for a brief moment. Shiguri told me I'm a fast learner too. Eh <laughs> Is that so? First time I've heard that. If it wasn't true, there would be no point for me to bring it up myself. Master doesn't usually joke around with others like this too, you know. Now that you mention it, you're right. It was more like neither of us were the type to come up with snappy retorts. Vanilla also wasn't the type to talk about herself much either. I realized that I hadn't heard much about her. I don't dislike that kind of distance between me and Master though. It lets me be open and carefree, just like a cat girl should be. She smiled with her usual tone of voice. It's, if that's what makes Vanilla most comfortable, then I'm fine with that. If I could get the sentence out. That was without a doubt. It was without a doubt, yet... Do you dislike it when I bother you, Vanilla? Huh? Bother? She tilted her head to the side and blinked a few times in confusion. Furrowing her brow, she put a hand to her chin as she thought. Then she hit her palm with her f with her first. I think she I think that meant to say with her fist and looked over at me because that doesn't make much sense. I see pickup lines, huh? You really need to quit it with these jokes of yours. I lightly bopped Vanilla on the head. She really can't handle serious topics, can she? I looked directly at Vanilla and returned to the topic at hand. Zoom. I want to be closer to you to you too, Vanilla. Closer. You're close right now, though. Not in a literal sense. What I mean is that I want to know more about you and get along with you better. This time, I gently patted Vanilla on the head. As usual, she had a baffled expression on her face as she looked up at me. I'm fine with the distance between us right now, but I want to be a better owner, you know? That's why I want to know more about you. I want to understand you better, Vanilla. You're one of my precious cat girls, after all, Vanilla. Master. Even with what happened with Chocola, I was concerned about Vanilla. Vanilla was right. I didn't know much about her at all. That's exactly why I wanted to know more. The three of us will be together from now on, after all. Dots. I'm not good with serious stuff like this. Master isn't good at this stiff stuff either. So Vanilla could be cute at times too. She pouted as her cheeks became rosy. Vanilla mumbled as she looked up at me. Perhaps she really does have a really low tolerance for serious matters. Well, I know it's a bit out of character for me, but... I wanted to get that out in the open. At the very least, I wanted to tell you how I feel. As an unbefitting wry smile came across my face, I faced Vanilla and spoke my true feelings. Trying to ravish me too. I told you, that's not it. Hmm, I know. I was kidding. It's okay. I understand Master's feelings perfectly. She was absolutely adorable. That true smile. This level of honesty she normally didn't show me was making my heart skip a beat. No, 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 no. 
I'm having a serious discussion here. This isn't the time for me to be thinking of how cute Vanilla is. Sniff, sniff. Huh? The smell. Sniff, sniff. Huh? What? What is it, Vanilla? Something. Sniff. Smells really sweet. Sniff. Uh, vanilla? Uh oh. Sniff, 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 sniff. Ah, what a sweet and delicious smell. Hey, uh, Earth to Vanilla. Um, you're really close. I say close, but it was more like she was stuck onto me. Vanilla buried her face in my chest and continued to sniff. Wow, such a thick, sweet smell. This, this is making my head melt, meow. Master, give me more over here. She looked up and pushed her face up against my neck. I could feel her body and lips pressed against me. Oh, jeez. As Vanilla's sweet smell and softness flowed throughout my entire body. Ah, uh, wait, Vanilla! Ah! Uh. No, that was just a flame in response. Huh? Did you say a flame in response? A flame in response. It was just a flamening. Well, let's just leave it as a flame in response then. Back away slowly. Hmm. Very well. I shall return to my regular position then. Wee. She's off. Ah, sure. I left at that. My heart is racing. Uh, thank you very much. Master, wrap me, please. Wrap, wrap. Hey, I told you not during work. There are no customers here right now, so it's fine. Just a little. Alright, alright. Just a bit, okay? Yay! Wrap, 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 wrap. Okay, fully charged now. Chocolate's gonna go take out the trash. You. Away she goes. Sheesh, what a handful. Stare. Hmm? What is it, Vanilla? Measuring the level of resolve in Master's face. Beep, boop, beep. Evaluation, slack level, bulldog. I can clearly sense the spite in that evaluation. You were watching the whole time, weren't you? I wasn't. I was working diligently. I wasn't saying you were slacking off or anything. I wasn't. I think you're being too self-conscious, master. No, I mean... Pervert. Never mind. It was obvious that she was staring at me the whole time. Was this some sort of new rebellious phase of hers? I'm not sure cat girls even have rebellious phases though. Anyways, the total sales for today is... Vanilla headed towards the register, paying me no heat. Dots. Getting closer. With more dots. Oh, okay. More hugs. Fip. Hmm? Sniff, 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 sniff. Um, vanilla. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Master, why are you pushing your back against me? This is major deja vu, by the way. Wait, 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 wait. You're the one who's pressed against me. I am against master. Hmm. Hmm. Vanilla tilted her head with a perplexed look at her face. I've seen this reaction before. It seems similar to something that had just happened yesterday. Vanilla, could it be that you're... Ah, uh, I'm going to go take out the trash. Excuse me. Jogla is taking out the trash now. But no, she's gone. She's going to run away and never return. Dots! This was how Chocla behaved yesterday. Could it be... Vanilla is in heat? The two of them are twins, or were twins. It wouldn't be strange if they were going through the same stage. It isn't at the same level as Chocla was yesterday, though. In any case, I'll just observe what she does a bit longer.
This video was made possible thanks to patrons such as Craig McCutcheon and Neko Senpai.